Hi everyone, welcome back to maths. Um, so I thought what we'd do now, if you remember before Christmas we were doing sequences, okay, and we were doing the nth term of linear sequences. And if you remember a linear sequence is where the terms go up by a constant number, okay? So the difference is the same each time. So in this case we're adding seven each time. So we know it's a linear sequence. Now, we kind of saved quadratic sequence until after Christmas. Uh, if you remember, we talked about it and we said, you know, we'll wait until after Christmas, we'll have a bit more time to spend on them. Um, and the plan was to do that in the classroom. It's going to be a little trickier from home, but we'll get there, don't worry folks. So, before we go into that, we're just going to have a recap of linear sequences this lesson. Make sure we're really happy with them. It's been a while now, it's only been about three weeks since you've seen them and done a lot of work on them. So we're going to just make sure everyone's really happy with those, get us back into the swing of things before we then dive into quadratic sequences next lesson. So we're going to look at calculating the nth term, <coughs> excuse me, the nth term. And now remember, that's the little little expression that tells us the the term of any, any number in here. Okay, so this is our first term, second, third, fourth, fifth. We want to know how to find this number, given the number one, two, three, four, or five okay or six seven or you know going on forever so the first thing that we do is we find our common difference okay what are we going up by each time okay and in this case we're adding seven each time to get the next number so we know it's a linear sequence sometimes called arithmetic sequences okay if you're looking it up online um it's the same thing so yeah we've got a linear sequence here it goes up in a nice straight line that would actually make a nice straight line on a graph <coughs> excuse me hence the word linear so we're going up in seven and we talked about this in class but if you remember we already know a very famous um sequence that goes up in sevens and that is our seven times tables okay so we know this sequence has got something to do with the seven times tables now obviously it isn't seven times table because we know that's 714 21 etc but it's got some relation to it it's like the cousin of the seven times tables so to write out our seven times tables the, the kind of um, the piece of maths for that is actually and we'll write this down at the bottom it's part of our answer already 7 n okay that is the the nth term for our seven times tables because if n is 1 for our first term we do 7 times 1 is 7 7 times 2 14, 7 times 3 is 21, and so on. So that represents our 7 times tables. Now, now we've got this part, I'm going to go above this and write out my 7 times table. Okay, so 7, 14, 21, 28, and 35. And if you remember, we did talk about this, and the reason we write it above and not below is because we automatically read down the page. Okay, it's not wrong to write it below, but you've got to pay a bit more attention to make sure you get the right answer if you do that. <coughs> because what we're going to do now is say, how do I get from 7 to negative 2? What's the calculation I have to perform to get there? Okay, so 7 down to negative 2. I'm actually subtracting 9. Okay, so in that case, I'm subtracting 9. I'm just going to write it below. How do I get from 4 to 15? So 14 to 5 right numbers wrong order 14 to 5 i'm also subtracting 9 okay and each time you're going to see that's what happens okay so this sequence is our seven times table with nine taken off it okay so we're going to have our nth term is 7n subtract 9 and you've done <coughs> excuse me so there we have it okay that's how to find the nth term now i've got two more examples of this just to show you in case you, you're not 100 percent sure on any of it please make sure you've got some notes on this take extra notes from these if you haven't already got some because your work today is going to be to do some of these for yourself so here's another one nth term this time we've got 3 7 11 15 19 so we're going to see what our common difference is okay and I put a little arrow just to show, remind myself which way I'm going. Um, so here we're plusing 4, plus 4, plus 4. And I'm putting a plus 4, and on the next example you'll see why it's important. I'm not just writing 4, okay? I'm writing plus 4, that's important. So we know now we've got something to do with our 4 times tables. So our nth term is going to begin with 4n, okay? <coughs> 
and then above here then I'm going to write out my four times table starting with four okay because if this is n is one then four times one is four that's where we start our four times table four eight twelve sixteen twenty okay and now what I need to do is figure out how do I get from my four times tables to my sequence okay so in this case I'm actually doing four subtract one is three and I'm writing it below for now now you might start to think well that's obvious they're all subtract one okay that's absolutely right the reason I just start to write down at least a few of them for now is to get me into the swing of things for when we do quadratics okay because actually when we do this quadratic sequences you're going to find these aren't always the same okay so it's just getting into a bit of a habit really so we're going to have 4n minus 1 okay and we can test it <coughs> because don't forget these are terms of our sequence so we've got n equals 1 2 3 4 5 okay first term second term third term fourth term fifth term okay and those dots those ellipses there tell us it, it kind of goes on forever okay but we've just looked at the first five that's enough to give us the info that we need so if n is 1 4 times 1 is 4 minus 1 is 3 perfect normally try one a bit further up check it n is 4 4 times 4 is 16 minus 1 is 15 okay always worth checking right the last one I'm going to do is a little bit different okay you can probably notice the difference here the numbers are actually going down this time okay that's okay don't panic the only thing you've really got to think about that's slightly different here and this comes back to those plus signs I wrote is that this time we're actually subtracting two each time and that's really important because it means I'm not interested in my two times tables but I'm interested in my negative two times tables which sounds crazy is it even a thing okay so the negative two times tables all we're going to do is first of all we're going to say okay negative 2n that's the start of my answer down there negative 2n and to write my negative two times tables above here what I'm going to do is write my two times tables but with negative signs in front okay so negative 2 negative 4 negative 6 negative 8 negative 10 okay that's the only thing that um, that's massively different here now again I need to see how I'm going to get from here to here okay so negative 2 to 17 I'm actually adding 19 there okay and we always check does it work for all of them negative 4 to 15 yeah that's going to be 19 4 to get to 0 then another 15 that's another 19 okay each time that's going to be 19 so we've got negative 2n plus 19 okay and it's a plus because I'm adding that 19 on here okay um, on the previous ones we were subtracting it okay which is why we end up with a negative sign if we don't have a sign then we assume it's a positive <coughs> um, and that's just to remind you why we write this above had we written this below we'd have gone from 17 to negative 2 and ended up with subtracting 19 which would not give us the right answer now a bit of a reminder you got quite good at this last term um, we don't tend to lead on a negative if we can help it okay so I will probably rewrite that as actually 19 subtract 2n it's the exact same thing it's just a bit more pleasant okay and we're just going to double check a couple of them if you want to write in your n's above one two four five that's absolutely fine so let's try n is two so we get two times two which is four 19 subtract 4 is indeed 15 and we'll try the 5 this time so 2 times 5 is 10 19 subtract 10 is 9 okay so we know it works okay right so there's three examples make sure you've got those in your books please um happy if you choose different colors on these it's actually quite helpful or highlighters and things to just kind of distinguish because there's lots of lines of numbers there's going to be even more when we get onto quadratics so um just perhaps take the time now to be really careful about your presentation of these because it will make your life a lot easier when we get on to the next lesson um, I've uploaded a worksheet with some practice questions for you to do please get in touch if you've got any worries about any of that um, there's also going to be a video on um, not a video sorry a couple of questions on maths watch just so I can check you've understood okay thank you folks bye bye